Hey guys, JH, welcome to practice tea. And it's a hot practice tea today. <clears throat> okay guys. Again, following on with the the general theme of all the videos now from now on on channel lock. They're they're, they're just tweaking and, and building up my my final uh, channel lock protocol. I've got basically you know the, the 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 base structure and formula of it but I'm just you know just tweaking a little bit every time and guys I've been working a lot with the grip um, now the grip is a modification process and it is a work in progress no question about that and I'm going very much fist in that lead hand getting as much fist as I can in the trail hand And it's hard, guys, when you've hit, you know, probably four million shots plus in your practice regime over the years that, that the programming for an overlock grip doesn't keep coming back and, and you know, cross-programming what you're trying to do. I find sometimes I'll go home and I'll look at the video in the last couple of videos and I've actually reverted back to, even though I've got it in the fingers, I've reverted back to a little bit of overlap in my trail hand. Now, that may be the case going forward i may have a tiny bit of overlap there but i'll still predominantly have it in the in the in the palms in the, in the as a as a fish grip that that's what the predominance of the grip will be and that'll be a personal modification but i want to have it in the in in the palm in the in the lead hand because i want that that backhanding process and particularly now relative to what i'm going to talk about today now i'm trying to get a really really strong impact position and a really consistent top of the swing position with with channel lock in the backswing and because I've, I've got the reverse winding going on uh, the anti-clockwise winding going back that's a very very strong action but what it can do and I noticed yesterday on the golf course we went out here I went out here with Frank the, the manager here and we played nine holes and I was just trying a few things I was getting really powerful shots, but I was overdrawing them. And, and, and a really solid draw to the extent that after you know, five or six shots, I knew what I was doing. So I was trying to back it down a little bit, but I was still playing you know, right side of the target and drawing it in, which I don't like to do. And I found that, that I was actually overwinding too much and then holding that wind a little bit too much uh, on the downswing. Now it's just, it, because it's in the early stages of developing it. So what I did when I came back here for my practice session in the afternoon was I didn't wind as much on the backswing deliberately. I didn't have so much of that going. I still had that very much. But instead of that, what I did was I was, I was concentrating on getting a bow at the top of the swing with, with, my, with my lead wrist. Now, the advantage of that well, the result of that is that if I'm going to roll, roll the club in here with a wind, I'm going to get back here and I'm going to get that look a little bit. But I can have not as much wind, but have more bow. If I get more bow, I can still get that look there. Now, that's very Dustin Johnson-ish. And, and in, what I'm trying to do is get my club face pointing to the sky at the top of the swing, which <laughs> in, in, in uh, you know, traditional terms... That's a shut-faced, super shut-faced position, which Dustin Johnson has at the top of the swing. But if you think about it, guys, if that's where the golf club is there and it's pointed in that orientation there, which is that orientation there, we don't want it at the top of the swing. We don't want it there. I mean, we don't want it there. The, 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 the targets, the, the ball is there. We want the club to do that, to go back as it would in a slide and just be facing the ball, which is called square to square. Now the way to do that easier for me is to bow my wrist at the top of the swing. Now I had my buddy up here, Adrian, yesterday, and I was hitting some shots and I was thundering it. Absolutely, he said, what are you doing? And I got him to do it, and guys, within six shots, he was thundering the ball. And he was hitting it, oh, a lot of compression, and a good noise and beautiful flight. So that's where I'm going with my grip, guys. I'm going fingers, here. but as I take it back instead of really 
reverse winding it too much. I'm just what I'm doing is I'm just bowing my wrist as a feeling to get that. Yeah. Now, as in Bill Phillips' video of yesterday, when he talks about getting the uh, uh, the lead arm over the uh, over the lead pack, I've basically done that my whole life. I've always been a connection player, and you'll notice me when I get in here with my with my pre-turn. I mean, I'm here. I'm very much like that. So I'm I'm here anyway. So so that was good to build to show people that because I can endorse that because I do that myself and I get great results with it. But today guys, I'm just going to concentrate on bowing my wrist at the top of the swing. Here. Haven't hit these shots. Five on here guys. Wow. Pretty good. Hmm. Guys, they're missiles, they're absolute missiles. And that's a very stiff and rigid swing. Okay, so what's the result of that? What do I notice? immediately in the shot goes lower goes lower because I'm obviously shutting the club down uh, a bit more than I normally do there's no question it's, it's flying a bit lower <clears throat> but great fly it's, it's quite windy today and it's we're into the wind so it's actually actually good a good process but I'm hitting it over the old Ford Fairlane and it's going you know like a hundred past that but uh, but you know, right over the uh, width of the car. Here we are. Ball doesn't move. Oh, guys, I mean, it really doesn't move. Not at all. And there's a lot of power in it because it's actually swinging me off my feet. Guys, it's just not moving. It's almost like it's hitting it down a one metre channel. It is. No exaggeration, it's hitting it down a one metre channel. <clears throat> and it feels like the blade is shut down. It feels like I'm going to smother the ball. Now, what you have to do, no question, if you're going to, if you're going to be in the channel and you're going to shut it down as much as that, you've got to absolutely make sure that you swing into it. <laughs> if you don't have your shoulders closed and you don't have an absolute commitment to swing into out with that much that much feeling of club face shutness and I guess in a lot of ways it is a very strong uh, orientation of the face if you don't hit into out you'll just hit a straight flat pull yeah, I, I hit into out clearly with the with channel lock so I'm not going to I'm not going to pull the shot I just love how I mean it's no movement yesterday I had I don't know, probably five or six yards of draw yesterday. And hard draw today, I've got none. And I didn't have any when I came back and, and did the practice session after the uh, round. Or the half a round. We just go out sometimes. We just get in the buggy, Frank and I, the manager, and we just go out and we just hop around the golf course. And wherever there's no people, we go. So sometimes we might play six holes, nine holes, ten. Just depends when there's no people on the course. Okay, watch this, guys. Now for Bill Phillips who said that he's never seen a fair lane with a sunroof in the US. Let me tell you guys that all cars in Australia, most of the big sedans, 80% of them have got sunroofs. Which is crazy in a country like this because the sun here will just burn the, the hair off your head. That's my excuse, that's what's happened to me over the years, the sun's burnt the hair off my head. But, uh, but yeah we have, and I'll show you the old Ford Fairlane out there with a, with a sunroof Billy, the one I knock it in. I think it's about... 18 inches deep, 20 inches deep, and 34 inches wide, and that's the hole I go in. I'll show you in a moment, Billy. It's there. Wow.
There's no movement on the ball, guys. Very hot today. The group is struggling. It's gone straight over the sunroof, I remember, but it's 120 metres past the car, but um, it's not that. This is flying about 180, the car's about 125, so. It's 65 on the fly, but straight over the, um, the sunroof. Guys, it's just my practice session. See, I get on with it, guys. There's, there's no hesitation with me. Once I'm over the ball, I have ignition. And we have liftoff. When you really shut it down, I mean, when you shut it down more than you think you can shut it down, you get that shot. That feels like, to me as a feel, it feels like I'm going to flat smother the ball. That's the feel I've got to have. But as long as I hit into out, I won't. But it feels like it's shut down so much. I'll never hit the ball better than that. I'll never hit it better than that. And the ball flight I was getting yesterday really prompted my buddy to, uh, <laughs> to just say, JH, well, what are you doing? And, uh, and he knows I'm doing something every day, so it drives him nuts because he gets going and then he tries something else. And I don't want anybody really to try a lot of things. I'm just doing this for myself. But I'm telling you the progress of what, what's happening. And it's, and it's great. Just okay, try and keep my trail foot down a little bit. That's the only thing I'm working on now is keeping that trail foot down a little bit longer. Come on, Jason. It's not it's not down long enough. Come on. Amazing how straight the balls go. You see how clean the hit is, guys? I mean, I could hit off the putting green over there and it wouldn't disturb a blade of grass. That's one thing about channel lock. Very shallow swing. No divots. None. Come on, Jase. Nice back swing. Okay, you're warmed up now. Come on. There's a warm-up swing. Wow. Wow. Those others were carrying about 180, 185. That one's carried about 195. It's just a great feel, guys. It's just a fantastic feel. Just dry that grip off a little bit. I haven't put my cords on yet guys because I'm waiting on some new cord grips to come in. I always put cords on in the summertime and I'm waiting on some of those to come in. And uh, I should have those soon. Wow. I hope it's picking up the impact because that's a really good impact. Really good impact. Because first day, <laughs> first day with this process. So I'm, I really am, and I'm not blowing my own horn, but I'm a very quick learner. If I think about something, I can usually put it into operation straight away within half a dozen swings.
thing I like about it, I don't miss a shot. Well, I don't miss direction. They're not all timed 100%, but they're all timed about 90%. Some of them absolutely 100%. God, Dave. Come on. That's, that makes up for the 90% times because that's timed at 120%. So what am I doing guys? I'm doing this. Left arm over left pack as Bill Phillips says. As I take it back I'm bowing that left wrist. That's what I'm trying to get the feeling of. I haven't got that yet but that's the feeling I want to have. But you've got to hit into out. If you don't hit into out you're dead. Well you're dead with channel lock if you don't hit into out anyway. And self-praise is no recommendation, JH. Clearly we know that, but I'm only saying that's fantastic because it's fantastic for my level of striking. And that was just a wonderful shot. And people, people take me to task. They say, JH, when you're over in the paddock over there, you've got that really deep grass and the ball's teed up all the time. And it's easy to hit. Guys, it's crabgrass. The ball's underground most of the time. And I never hit anything shorter than a five iron when I practice on the, on video this is a piece of cake these are tight lies here but this is a piece of cake people think I can't hit off tight lies I mean I love tight lies I tell you this is a lot easier to hit than out of that crabgrass these, these, these are what I call the salubrious lies and they're very easy to hit off for me that's just a piece of cake As I say, I could hit off the putting ground. I mean, there's not a blade of grass disturbed there. Come on, Chase. Don't get any better than that, guys. I'm putting on an exhibition for myself here. I'm impressing myself here. My, <laughs> my levels of uh, uh, being impressed are very low, guys, clearly. But, but that's as good as I can hit it. And what I love about that is being able to hit it with something that's as new as this. As new as this. God, it just don't get any better than that. Come on, Jase. Sorry, guys, just get a... Let me just get a... Let me just get a T and just rip a couple of the animal drivers down here. The four degree driver with the 305 CPM shaft, steel tip. It's actually just under four degrees, about 3.8. It's got more loft than my putter. It's so low spin. Out on the golf course yesterday, a hole that I normally hit probably eight iron from a second shot, I had 50 metres to the green after hitting this driver. 50 metres to the green. I normally hit eight iron in from a second shot. It's hard to hit, but when you get it, wow. Okay, watch this guy. Huh. It's dead into the wind now. And that fence out there, I never get anywhere near it when there's no wind. And that was only 25 yards from that fence into the wind. Come on, George. Back footed, into out. What's that look like, guys? What does that look like? Does that look any good? That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to hit away, stay back. Stay back and hit away. Sorry, guys, I just I normally don't hit the tee out of the ground, but I actually did with that. Uh, that shot right there. Well, it's right out there. But see, I'm staying back. I've got that secondary till. That's just gone miles, guys. Absolutely miles. That almost got to the fence into the wind. So how much longer with this am I? 25 yards. I normally, if a driver gets me five yards a lot, this thing is an animal. But there's no spin on it. I haven't had it on a monitor yet, but it'd be launching at about 1,200. I haven't really got enough speed. Mr. X is good because he can keep it in the air. For me, it gets on the ground early, but it runs. Runs like a, you know what? 
What's this? Look at this, guys. I'm back here. Oh, that's such a good head. That is just... That's brutalised. Oh, brutalised. And my fair, my fairway here, guys, is... Uh, it's about 20 yards wide. I don't need anything wider than that. These are all right down the centre. Come on, Jay. Guys, there, there's three or four drives in a row that are five yards apart. Five yards apart. Okay, guys, that's what I'm working on. Shutting it down here. Bowed wrist coming in here. Anybody been in martial arts, been in shoulder can? It's a thing called a pochoy. Get this here. Bang! It's just pochoy. That's what... Uh, that's what I feel. Yeah. Okay, guys. Wow, it does good. 